Now let's take a look at the connection between high fiscal deficit and slow growth. Fiscal deficit is nothing but if I spend more versus how much I earn. The difference is fiscal deficit. To understand fiscal deficit and growth, we need to understand two large policies. The first policy is the monetary policy. That is controlled by the RBI that looks after the supply of money in the economy and the rate of interest. The second is the fiscal policy that is looked after by the government that looks after all the expenditure and the income. Now when the government spends more than what it earns, it needs to borrow that much money. That money it borrows from the RBI. Now when RBI has to give the government money, it has to print more money. When it prints more money, it increases the supply of money and there is pressure on inflation. And when there is pressure on inflation, the RBI cannot cut interest rates and keep it low. That is the connection between fiscal deficit, supply of money, inflation and interest rates. We saw the relationship between high deficit and high interest rates. Now when interest rates are high, they're not really great news for people like you and me. We put a lot of money in the banks and when we put money in the banks to get higher interest rate, we spend less. We spend less, we consume less, we buy less cars, we go to less restaurants, we buy less goods and services. Companies don't like high interest rates because when companies borrow money from the banks, they pay more and that reduces their profitability. Therefore, high interest rates are not necessarily a good news for the economy. So high fiscal deficit leads to higher rate of interest. A higher rate of interest leads to a slower growth. Hence, if the government wants the growth to be higher, it has to keep the fiscal deficit in check. And that is the link between fiscal deficit and growth. If you need to understand and know more, follow us on Facebook and Twitter. We'd be more than happy to help you.